You'd think there'd been a war or a terrible natural disaster. More than 100,000 people getting out of Thailand as fast as they can with whatever they can carry. Cambodian workers say they're afraid they'll be arrested, harassed, or even killed by soldiers acting for the military who took over government nearly a month ago. Relations between Thailand and Cambodia have always been complex, and that's one of the reasons why so many people are trying to leave so quickly here. Departing migrants are taken here to be registered. Thailand's economy relies on casual migrant labor from neighboring countries, not just Cambodia, but millions from Myanmar and fewer from Laos. Thai governments have failed to stop abuses like trafficking and slavery. Against that background, Mao didn't want to take any chances. He's taking his wife and young child back, even though he's worked in Thailand for seven years and his employer asked him to stay. The Thai military and foreign affairs ministry deny there's been any crackdown on workers like him. But Mao's packed as much as he can because that's not what he's been hearing from his friends and family. Remember, speaking against the military rulers is expressly forbidden. I will go back to Cambodia. I am scared. Scared that if I am arrested, I might not get to come home. The governor of this Cambodian province has been trying to cope with the unprecedented numbers returning home here. Many, many people coming here and we don't have the project, we don't have the budget, we don't have the people for organize, for receive them. The next leg of Mao's journey home is being provided by an international agency. It's a free ride at an uncertain time and Mao is ambitious for his son. I want his future to be better. I want him to continue to study so that he will not have a difficult life like I do. Migration is a thorny matter for governments, but for migrants, it's their hope for a better deal for the next generation. Veronica Pedroza, Al Jazeera, on the Thai-Cambodian border.